thanking the Almighty, whose eternal grace infuses our lives with love and light, is an essential part of every endeavor. We pray for courage, for strength, for forgiveness, and for peace. We remain grateful to God for each and every moment that He has bestowed upon us, not only to be our best selves, but to serve our fellows. With this, I request our principal, Ma'am Mukti, to lead us in prayer. The Ganesh Vandana is an invocation to Lord Ganesha, the god of knowledge, higher arts, and pure intelligence, amongst numerous other qualities attributed to him. We meditate upon him and pray for greater intellect and to illuminate our minds with wisdom. The students of classes 6 to 12 will now invoke the Lord of Beginnings and seek his blessings for the day with their wonderful dance and rendition of the Ganesh Vandana. Shraddhaya Purujan Upasthit Samanmi Abhibhavak Jan Eva Mere Priya Sahipathi Aap Sabhi Ka Hartik Abhinandan Ganesh Vandana Ki Yaha Rajna Shastri Sangeet Ke Bilas Khani Todi Namak Kaab Me Rajit Hai Yaha Bahaat Prachin Karun Eva Madhurya Se Bhagud Raag Hai इस राग की उत्पत्ति तानसेन के पुत्र बिलास खान ने की थी निसंदेह यह एक कठिन राग है अतः इसकी साधना भी कठिन है रेगर ध्वनि कोमल को रखते हुए स्वरों के लगाव आलाप और विभिन्न लय कार्यों और तांड रूपी स्वरों का प्रस्तुतिकरण विशेष अभ्यास के बाद ही संभव हो पाता है प्रस्तुत है गायन एवं नृत्य के माध्यम से एक सुमध गणेश वंदन
prestigious Directors Award. Big hearts and brave minds for our phenomenal students who are ready to embark on their youthful journey to their lofty goals. Their dedication and sincerity will turn them into pillars that will strengthen the society. They will receive a certificate, a trophy and a cash prize of rupees 2000. To present these awards, I request Reverend Father Carvalho to come upon the stage and present these awards. And her today to award the children for what she has been to them, their mother, their teacher and their guide. So she will award the students. Give her a big hand, please. Master Jyotir Aditya Pati, has been awarded the Big Hearts and Brave Minds Directors Award for being an outstanding Admiralite with excellent leadership and organizational skills. Ms. Ridhima Chauhan has been awarded the Big Hearts and Brave Minds Directors Award for being an outstanding Admiralite who bore all responsibilities with extraordinary courage and passion.
Ms. Husha Yebel Lucy Elda has been awarded the Big Hearts and Brave Minds Directors Award for being a vocalist par excellence and an outstanding admiral. Ms. Disha Basu has been awarded the Big Hearts and Brave Minds Directors Award for excelling in the fields of performing arts. Ms. Megan Jose Leon has been awarded the Big Hearts and Brave Minds Directors Award for achieving excellence in organizational and graphic designing skills and for being an outstanding Amelite. <laughs> Ms. Mehek Dhingra receives the Big Hearts and Brave Minds Directors Award for excelling in the field of performing arts. She knows. <laughs> she, uh, she, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, what's the, the best person to explain? Uh, she was awarded Miss Teen India this year, and uh, she will be going to Indonesia next year to present uh, our country, and she also aspires to become Miss India next year. So that's me. We have a huge round of applause. Master Watsal Kumar receives the Big Hearts and Brave Minds Directors Award for achieving excellence in performing arts, eloquence and organizational skills and thus being an outstanding Aguilite. <laughs> Ms. Trishi Negi was the editor of the Trishi magazine in the session 2021-22. She has been awarded the Big Hearts and Brave Minds Directors Award for being an outstanding Aguilite and for excelling in literary activities. The next category of awards is the Recognition of Excellence Awards <coughs> which are presented to students who are exceptionally gifted in their chosen fields and with great diligence have honed their talents to remarkable ends. These students will be honored with a certificate, a trophy and a cash prize of Rs. 2000. Ms. Adriana Anand receives the Director's Award for Excellence in the field of Western Music.
Ms. Ishma Jobi receives the Director's Award for Excellence in the field of dance. Ms. Arushi Bhayana receives the Director's Award for significant contribution to the school parliament. the Director's Award for Achieving Excellence in Music and Visual Arts. <laughs> Ms. Pratna Patil receives the Director's Award for Excellence in Music. Awarded the Director's Award for Excellence in Dance. Thank you, Father and Principal Ma'am. I now request our mentor and guide. Reverend Father Carvalho to address the gathering. Good evening, everyone. Mm, that song still reverberates, reverberates in my mind. From my emptiness to thy Fullness, Lord, lead me on, light my way, and let me know what worthy a way to thank God for what we are. Thank you, dear students, for that wonderful rendition, and thank you all of you for being present here. May Mukti, our principal, you have been the light of this institution for the last 15 years. You have done it so, so. So marvelously. Give her a big hand, parents and students. Thank you, Father Roy, principal of Delhi School, for your presence here and for, your, for guiding all the time. Give him a big hand, too. Don't be so sparse with your generosity. Thank you, Sister Nabia, principal of Ashali. And thank you, Sister Judy, principal of Greater Navida. Thank you all the lovely people out there. <coughs> the exuberance of the enchanting smile of our children. Then all wisdom and philosophy. And he wasn't wrong. Words of wisdom from time immemorial have been passed down to us in the form of musical composition, whether in the form of classical Indian music or folk music or to the holy chants from the scriptures. Music has the power to awaken our slumbering souls and help us attain oneness with the Lord Almighty and with oneself. Let us welcome the students of the Hindi choir on the stage who will surely transport us all to another world with their rendition of the song Gaija. संगीत में अद्वितीय शक्ति निहित है जो निर्जीव में भी प्राण फूंक देती है जिसे सुनकर अलौकिक एवं ईश्वरीय आनंद की अनुभूति होती है ये स्वरों के खेल का वह आनंद है जिसे शब्दों में बांधना कठिन ही नहीं नामुमकिन है इस एहसास को केवल अनुभवी किया जा सकता है प्रस्तुत है गाय जा गीत जो विभिन्न रागों की स्वरंजलियों का समिश्रण दिखाते हुए तान आलाप सरगम द्वारा रसानुभूति करवाने की 
एक छोटी सी कोशिश है to the learned's wings and given grace itself a double majesty. Will there be singing in the dark times? Yes, there will be singing about the dark times. There's something magical about conversations that morph into songs and mobilize theatre for social change. The mystery of misery is best solved with the magic of music. Back in the 1930s, the Trap family singing troupe was hugely popular in Austria. The Anschluss forced them to flee their beloved homeland and emigrate to America, where their career thrived. Maria von Trapp's memoir portrays the blossoming of her relationship with the Von Trapp children, the formation of the music group, and how its symphony prevailed over the horrors of war. It became the inspiration for the 1959 stage musical, The Sound of Music, a captivating rendition of a love story written by Lindsay and Krauss, with music by Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein. The 1965 film production turned it into an international sensation, reaching the top in line in almost 29 countries. The sound of music portrays the ardent love of a girl for music and nature. To escape the dilemma to love, to sing, and to experience the joie de vivre, she joins a convent intended to become a nun. The story of the Von Trapp family is fascinating because it touches the lives of people by the sheer nature of its simplicity. Maria Von Trapp is unfit to be a nun because 
She is too wonderful a girl to be confined within the walls of a convent. Mother Abbess, knowing that, recommends her to be a governess to Captain Fawntrap's children. This production today unfolds the fantasy and the charm Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer gifted the world in their beautiful rendition of the Fawntrap story, wherein Maria's joy for singing in nature and endless love for children is demonstrated. A worthy story is one which never loses its value but gains fresh significance with each retelling. The students of Father Agnes School bring to you the stirring, uplifting, simply magical story of the Fontrap family in The Sound of Music. Sixteen or seventeen are ready to enter the novitiate. 
Let's consider the doubtful ones again. There's Irmagad, Christina, and there's Maria. Well, after last night, I don't think there can be any doubt in the Reverend Mother's mind about Maria. I gave her permission to leave the Abbey for the day. I told you so, Sister Beth, didn't I? Reverend Mother, I brought Maria. She's waiting. Sisters, do we not see eye to eye about Maria? How do you feel about her? She climbs a tree and scrapes her knee. Her dress has got a tear. She waltzes on her way to Mass and whistles on the stair. And underneath the whimper she has colors in her hair. I even heard her singing in the Abbey. She's always late for chapel, but her penitence is real. She's always late for everything except for every meal. I hate to have to say it, but I very fondly feel Maria's not. singing, you know. That's the hardest rule of all for me. Sister Margareta is always reminding me, but too late after I've started singing. And you were singing at the garden at the top of your voice. I came to the window and when you saw me, you stopped. I wish you hadn't stopped. I used to sing that song when I was a child and I can't quite remember. Raindrops on roses and 
whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Mother, where did you learn that song? I was brought up in the mountains myself. Now, tell me, Maria. What is the most important lesson you've learned here? To find out what is the will of God and to do it, even if it is hard to accept? Even then? Well, Maria, it seems to be the will of God that you leave us. Leave? Leave here? Oh no, Mother! Please, no! Don't send me away! <coughs> this is my life! But are you ready for it? Perhaps if you go out into the world again for a time, you will return to us knowing what we expect of you and that we do expect it. I know what you expect and I'll do it. I promise. If it's God's will. Where am I to go? There is a family. A family of seven children. You love children and you're very good with them. No, no. They need a governess until September. Uh, until September? Captain von Trapp expects you this afternoon. He's a fine man and a brave one. He was given a medal by the Emperor for his heroism in the Adriatic. A captain in the Navy? Oh, Mother, he'll be very strict. You're not being sent to his battleship. God bless you, my child. day be like I wonder what will my future be I wonder it could be so exciting to be out in the world to be free my heart should be wildly rejoicing oh what's the matter with me I've always longed for adventure To do the things I've never did Now here I'm facing adventure Then why am I so scared? A captain with seven children What's so fearsome about that? Oh, I must stop these doubts, all these worries if I don't, I just know I'll turn back. I must dream of the things I am seeking. I am seeking the courage I lack. The courage to serve them with reliance. Face my mistakes without defiance. Show them I'm worthy. And while I show them, I'll show them. Confidence and confidence.
Captain Fontra, your Fraulein. Uh, Maria, Maria Reina. Now, Fraulein, as to your duties here, would you mind stepping over here? Before the children meet you, you will put on another dress. But I, I haven't any other dress. When we enter the abbey, our worldly clothes are given to the poor. What about this one? Well, the, the poor didn't want this one. <laughs> I, I would have made a dress, but I didn't have time. I can make my own clothes. Good. I'll see that you're given some material today. Now, you'll be in charge of my children. There are seven of them. You will see how far they have progressed with their studies and carry on from there. Each morning will be spent in the classroom and each afternoon they march. You will see that at all times they conduct themselves with decorum and orderliness. The first rule in the house is discipline. Yes, sir. Now that there's just us, 
Would you tell me your names and tell me how old you are? I'm Liesl. I'm 16 years old and I don't need a governess. Well, I'm glad you told me. We'll just be friends. I'm Friedrich. I'm 14. And I'm a boy. A boy? Why? You're almost a man. I'm Brigitte. Hmm. You didn't tell me how old you are, Louisa. I'm Brigitte. She's Louisa and she's 13 years old. I'm nine. And you're smart. I think your dress is the ugliest. But Brigitte, you must not say a thing like that. I am good and I'm 11 almost. <laughs> That's a very nice age to be. 11 almost. I'm Mata and I am going to be 7 on Tuesday. I would like a pink parasol. Pink is my favorite color too. And you're Gretchen. And you're 5 years old. I'm going to tell you something. I've, I've never been a governess before. How do I start? Well, the first thing you have to do is to tell father to mind his own business. What's in here? My guitar. What did you bring this for? For when we all sing together. We don't sing. <laughs> Everybody sings. What songs do you know? We don't know any songs. You don't? No. no. <sighs> well, now I know where to start. I'm going to teach you how to sing. Oh, thank you, young lad. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. The first three notes just happen to be Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. A Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti. Come, I'll make it easier for you. A deal, a female deal, rain, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself for a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling through La, a note to follow song. Tea, a drink with jam and bread that will bring us back to. Now all together, 
say goodnight this early just because your father's home. How did you know my father was home? Oh, I have a way of knowing things. You're wonderful. Oh, please, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. I mean, how did you know that you'd be here at just the same time tonight with a telegram for France? Every year on this day, he always gets a birthday telegram from his sister. You see, you are wonderful. Can I come again tomorrow? Tomorrow night? Rolf, you can't be sure you're going to deliver a telegram tomorrow night. I could come here by mistake. Don't tell your father though. Why not? Well, your father's pretty Austrian. We're all Austrian. Some people think we ought to be German. <coughs> They're pretty mad at those or not. Let's hope your father doesn't get into trouble. Don't worry about father. He was decorated for bravery. I don't worry about him. I worry about his daughter. Me? Why? How old are you again? Sixteen. What's wrong with that? You wait, little girl, on an empty stage for fate to turn the light on. Your life, little girl, is an empty page 
that men will want to ride on. To ride on. You are sixteen, going on seventeen, baby. It's time to think. Better be very canny and careful. Maybe you're on the break. You are sixteen, going on seventeen, fellows. his name and God bless Reverend Mother and everyone at the Nornberg Abbey and now dear God about Liesl help her to know that I'm her friend and help her to tell me what she's up to are you able to tell me she help me to be understanding so that I may guide her footsteps in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost Amen I was taking a walk when somebody locked the doors earlier than usual. I didn't want to wake everybody up. So when I saw your windows open, you're not going to tell father, are you? Liesl, were you climbing that trellis all by yourself? We always climb it to fool up. Governess, Louisa can climb it with a toad in her hand. Liesl, were you out walking all by yourself? You know, if you wash that dress out tonight, no one has to know. It would just be between you and me. You could put this on. Then come back here and we'll have a talk, okay? Earlier, I told you I didn't need a governess. Well, maybe I do. Oh, little Gretel! Are you afraid? Wait for me! Look, all of you, up on the bed. Now, all we have to do is wait for the boys. We will not see them. 
Boys are brave. You boys aren't frightened too, are you? Oh, oh no. We we just wanted to make sure that you weren't, right, Fuji? The lightning says something to the thunder, and the thunder answers back. I wish it wouldn't answer so loud. Maybe if we all sing loud enough, no one would hear the thunder. High on the hill was a lonely goat. Lay or lay or lay. Loud was the voice of the lonely goat. Lay or lay or lay. Folks in the town was quite shocked. Lay or lay. Get into your uniforms and report back here at once. Fraulein, where did they get these abominations? Out of nightmare? No, out of some curtains that used to hang out of my bedroom. Do you mean to say the people of the neighborhood have seen my children 
Wearing old cottons? Oh, yes. They're very popular. Everyone smiles at them. My children have always been a credit to my name. Oh, but Captain, they were just unhappy marching machines. Take Lisa. She isn't a child anymore. And Frederick is afraid to be himself. He's shy. He's aloof. He needs you. He needs Don't your heart. Don't tell me about my son. Brigitte could tell you about him because she notices things and she always tells the truth. And Kurt, he's sensitive. He's easily hurt. And you ignore him. I haven't finished yet. Louisa wants to have a good time. And Marta, I don't know about yet, but little Greta just wants to be loved. Oh, please, Captain, they need you. Stop. You will pack your things and return to the Abbey immediately. Schrader and show her a lovely garden. Yes, show me, show me the garden. Georg, why don't your children take part in the Carlsberg Festival? My children don't perform out in public. Oh, don't be so stubborn, Georg. Uh, we'll see then. And then? Maria, you were right. I don't know my own children. They're waiting to know you after I've gone. No, no. I want you to stay.
soon. Blood haven't you? I'm not a German. I'm an Austrian. There is going to be an Anschluss. I warn you. And everyone like you. And that goes for a cap. Everyone would be far more comfortable out on the terrace. Please. Father, I don't think these people are having a good time. Half the people I invited aren't speaking to the other half. Well, Father, maybe they are having a good time not speaking to each other. Cut! I haven't danced in London since I was a little girl. Oh, you remember it? Show me. Oh, please. Oh, well, the first the boy and the girl, they meet. Then they go for a little stroll. No, no, that's wrong, Kurt. Let me show you. That's how it's done. She has not spoken except in prayer. I shall see her. again. Why did they send you back to us? They didn't send me back. I left. I was frightened and confused. I have never felt this way before. I knew that here I could be safe. Maria, our abbey is not to be used as an escape. What is it that you can't face? Oh, I can't face him. Sisters, may we have a moment, please? Maria, are you in love with Captain Von Trapp? I don't know. I don't know. But do you like him? Oh, yes. That's what's been torturing me. I've pledged my life to God's service. I've pledged my life to God. My daughter, if you love this man, it doesn't mean that you love God less. You must go back. Mother, please don't send me back. These walls were not made to shut out problems. You must face them. You must find the life you were born to live and you must find out. How do I find it? Look for it.
Oh, they're there late again. No sense of punctuality in these kids these days. Oh, well, I'll pour myself a cup of tea then. Oh, there you are. We're still missing a couple of children. Ah, oh, there's one. Where's little Gretel? She might be coming. We'll wait for her then. <coughs> tut, tut. Right then, let's begin. One little girl in a pale pink coat had nails, 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 nails. One little girl in a pale pink coat had nails, 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 nails. Lisa, give us the key. Do, do. That's nice. Very nice. Except it's no good. Imagine you're on the stage of a big concert hall. I've got a sore finger. Oh. We need Fräulein Maria. <clears throat> did you play any tricks on Fräulein Maria? You didn't put any toads in her bed, did you? No, father. Well, something must have happened for her to leave us without even saying goodbye. You're not going to have a governess anymore. You're going to have a new mother. A new mother? But father, who? Oh, Frau Schrader. Frau Schrader? Yes. It was all settled last night. I'm very happy. Well, it's time for an afternoon walk. Keep practicing for the festival. Very much. 
Nothing was the same while you were away. Everything was wrong. A new dress? We, we had a new costume. Hey, did by the while you were gone, you had a call from Berlin. Max, this isn't the first call you've had from Berlin. Let's not start that up again. The Germans have promised not to invade Austria. Then why does he bother to answer those calls? Um, uh, well, if they don't keep their promise, I want to have some friends among them. Naturally. Oh, you agree too? If they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Be wise. Compromise. I will not bow my head to the men I despise. Captain! Uh, oh, I beg your pardon. Georg, why didn't you tell me that she is back? Uh, I wish you happiness, Frau Schrader. Captain, the children have told me that you're going to be married. Oh, I'm afraid the children were wrong. I've got to finish my packing if I'm to get back to Vienna. Max, we're leaving. I'm, I'm really sorry if I said something I should not have. We found we couldn't go the same way. That door is closed. Sister Margareta always says, when God closes a door, He opens a window. Maria. Is there someone I should go to, to ask permission to marry you? Why don't we ask the children? Life, the old ideas grow dim. Lo and 
this soon. Berlin has offered me a commission in the Navy. Then you must leave right away. Not without my family. <coughs> Sir, Admiral von Scheiber of the Navy of the Third Reich. Bring him in. We must be careful. <coughs> Hi! Hi! Captain Von Trapp. A telegram was sent to you three days ago. I have just received it. Your orders are to report immediately to the naval base. Immediately? I'm afraid that's not possible. We have a performance Friday night at the Carlsberg Festival. It gives you only the names of the children. It says the Fawn Trap family singers. I'm head of the Fawn Trap family. I'd like to hear you now. Sing what you're going to sing in a concert. Sing!
ladies and gentlemen, thank you. The festival has come to its conclusion. Except, of course, we don't know what the conclusion is going to be. The judges are putting their heads together to arrive at their decision. And while we wait, I think there should be an encore. This may be the very last opportunity the Fawn Trap family may get to sing together for a long, long time. The captain leaves for his new command. The guard of honor has arrived to escort him directly to the naval base. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fawn Trap family.
big ovation in the audience. They deserve better than that. Please give them a big clap. Loud, loud clap. I think they deserve more than that. Not a very good audience. every song with such precision. Even when the songs were singing, we could hear all of them in one perfect sing. That's an extraordinary performance, the audience. Please understand. Ma'am Gitu for creating magic and rendering difficult compositions. And we thought we honor and record our admiration for all the fantastic singers. Adrija will a main singer. We greet her. Ma'am Sima and Trina for choreographing dance sequences. And with them we honor those dancers in front. Thank you Ma'am Trina and Sima for the wonderful dancing. And Ma'am Rosie for designing, arranging and getting the costumes fabricated. And even catering to fences of individual children. Where is Ma'am Rosie? She catered to every need, even the fences of individual children. And these wonderful mountain rangers that are come alive every day to you, and I mean, you see it. Mem Fatima, Mem Shubrata, and Mem Surpi for creating those fantastic scenes of the Austrian Alps and remarkable backdrop and their props. All three of you, where are you? Oh! The military people are breeding them, okay. That's Austria, now Germany. They are Sosterreich, now it's Deutschland. Yeah, yeah, in the center, in the center, in the center. Mr. Shailendra, Mr. Paul, Mr. Shiva, and Mr. Oban for the dreams and the violin. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And I want to record our appreciation for Ma'am Tina and the team for being the rock solid behind the ro solid rock behind every single administrative decision in implementation, the refreshments, invitations, transport, dispersal. Where is Ma'am Tina? Is she anywhere here? Can you see her? Please come on stage. Thank you very much, Tina, and all your team. I'm Ravi up there for the music and the singing and the writing. And a long, loud applause for Mr. Davan and his team for this wonderful, fascinating sound and light. A louder, this is not enough. Now we have a host of other features. I will not call them on siege because they have been crowded. Ma'am Nitu and Manisha and Shalini for the mics and other for the mics and other props. Give them a big hand. <laughs> Ma'am Eve, Ma'am Bharti, Medvi for scripting and training the wonderful anchors. Anchors come on stage. Anchors, those remarkable anchors. Come in, please. Give them a big hand. Come in front. Are you all there? Okay. Ma'am Jyoti Sen Gupta for managing the school disruption due to practices and all teachers who held the fort when the world was going round and round in the auditorium. Mr. Amit Sethi, Ma'am Vandana for visuals and light arrangement. Give them a big hand. And Ma'am Namrata, Ma'am Amreen and Ma'am Mercy for the props. And the students backstage who manage the props and the artwork, come on stage, please. Yeah, you great guys, come, be seen. Be seen. And we have our graceful dancers out there who will be the Ganesh Vandana. How can I... Uh, and our glorious singers, Helda, and Adriana, and Adra. 
and a host of other helpers and bayas, didis, without whom nothing can succeed, and we owe them our respect and gratitude. And Paul, where is Paul? Paul, one on whose, on whose head lights are shining. Where is he? Where are the lights shining? Yeah. Come on. And our very special thanks. Yes. And our very special thanks to our main cast, Herr Pushkal Georg von Trapp. Pushkal Georg von Trapp. Frau Maria Disha von Trapp. Frau Maria Trisha von Trapp. Frau Maria Nita von Trapp. Und Herr Bax und Frau Schrader. Kommen Sie hier bitte. Give them a big hand. Life here happens, dear friends, because we are a family. And gratitude is the core virtue that we profess. Equality, compassion and gratitude is what always drives here. Today we pay tribute with this lovely song, which is the theme song of, of the Sound of Music. As a tribute to Mam Mukti, we'll sing together, all of us. Sing together. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, every morning you greet me, small and white, green and bright, you look happy to meet me, blossoms of snow may you tears, we dance for madness, we dance for fears. We dance for hopes, we dance for screens, we are the dancers, we create the dreams. And today's event was nothing short of a dream come true for everyone who has put in their efforts to make this event such a grand success. I will start by thanking Almighty God for bringing us together and making the event a resounding success. May he continue to shower his blessings on the Almer family. On behalf of the students, I would like to express my gratitude to our leader, mentor and guide, Reverend Father Carvalho, for his mentorship to his dividends and to turn his enthusiasm to push students beyond their levels. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to Principal Mamuti and coordinators Mam Ma Jyoti and Mam Ma Rosie for encouraging us and providing 
to hold at each step of this glorious celebration of music and dance. I extend my gratitude to the director of this musical fiesta, Sir Arthur, who accomplished his finest task of getting the children motivated and trained with ease and perfection. Thank you, sir, for your constant support and guidance. This event would not be possible without the immense dedication and determination of the teachers in charge of the cultural team. The melodious dance Western choirs were trained and perfected by constant efforts of Ma'am Poonam, Ma'am Aching and Sir Rio. of rhythm in the form of dance wouldn't be possible without the guidance of Mount Trina and Mount Seema. <laughs> a special thanks to Sir Shailendra who was gracious enough to take out time for a beautiful display of his skill in playing drums. This symphonic display of the ragas in the beginning of the show was the result of intensive training of the Hindi choir over the years by Ma'am Geetu and Sir Shiv. A heartfelt thank you to each one of you. The scenic backdrops and lifelike props used in the play were born from the paintbrushes of our art students under the supervision of Ma'am Fatima, Ma'am Shubrata and Ma'am Sirvi. We thank you for your dedicated contribution to the completion of this event. I further extend my gratitude to Ma'am E, Ma'am Bharti and Ma'am Medhavi for the use of masterful wordplay and sheer resilience to train the wonderful compares who breathed life in the opening of this event. The vibrant flowing costumes were arranged by Ma'am Rosi. We thank you Ma'am. We especially thank Ma'am Me Too who meticulously handled the main cast behind the scenes, ensuring that the scenes on the stage flowed on smoothly. I would like to thank Sir Amit, Ma'am Vandana, Ravi Bhaiya and the lighting and music managers for providing technical assistance to ensure the smooth flow of the event. I will now thank teachers in charge handling the various groups with patience and tenacity, the student volunteers and prop managers who were on their toes throughout. We would also express our heartfelt gratitude to the administration staff. It was their planning and management that kept everything moving seamlessly. We thank the transport department, our support staff, the helper didis and bhaiyas involved in the event who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure the grand success of the event. <laughs> Our sincere gratitude to all the parents and well-wishers for taking out time of their busy schedule and attending this event. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank all the participants who have dedicated hours upon hours training for the wonderful performances, displaying their skills and making the end of the 2020 a huge success. A round of applause for everyone. Now, please rise for the school hymn. 